guys welcome back to my channel this video I have been waiting for besides for the first half which I will link this is the video to step number two month two of my four step four month program Woo! I'm so excited you guys have to let me know if you do this I'm a little bit ahead of you guys, so at the end I will insert my update, but for now, let's get into it. Okay, so as I said, I will link the first video for the first step up above, and step two this month will be for the month of July, and it is continuing with your affirmations every single day, and if you can't do it every single day, at least do it three to four times a week okay three to four times a week you have to do it and then you have to multitask and pick your activity or do your workouts and so let's go over activities and I will put them on the screen so maybe you can screenshot it but I suggested walking nature trails hikes pole class dance class yoga class and even look on YouTube for like dance classes on YouTube or yoga classes on YouTube. I'm pretty sure there are some great ideas that are free on there. And I also wrote down soccer, basketball, tennis, roller skating, and biking. So there are a bunch of ideas you can do for activities if you didn't want to do the workouts you pick or choose. So if you choose the workouts, I will put mine on the screen that I have made up. And again, these workouts should be slow and controlled, not a lot of cardio. You wanna have slow and controlled movement so that you can connect your movement with your brain. Basically, that's what we're doing. Focus on your breathing and connect it with your movement that you do. It is very important to connect the two. The bonus for these workouts or activities is you do them, well, I guess not your activities because you might have to go out in public for that, depending on how you like to dress in public. <laughs> but for your workouts at home, dress in your comfiest clothes or your PJs. I'm telling you, it makes all a difference. It makes all a difference. I mean, plus, a lot of people don't even have a lot of workout clothes, so change the game right there, okay? So let's go over the schedule of the workouts and when to do them and how to do them. Okay, so for workout number one, you will do from July 4th through the 10th and the 11th through the 17th, and you will do your workouts two to three times a week or your activities. Workout number two will be from July 18th to the 24th and the 25th through the 31st. And I did it from Sunday to Saturday. Workout one, workout two. Because the whole point of this step for step two, month two, is to really keep your mind and body active and connected. That is very important, very important. You want to learn to keep moving, keep active. Also maybe get outside for some of these. You don't wanna feel stuck. You don't wanna feel anxious. So keeping that movement together and connected will be very important. Okay, so not to get even more confusing, but if you wanted to, you can do, you can do, say your first week, which is your first workout, 4th through the 10th, you decide to do two of your workouts and one activity. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's also an option. I am going to be doing skating, roller skating, because I have a roller skating here on my channel, which I will link above so you can check it out. I am brand new to skating. Oh boy, am I not good. I'm not good at it, but I'm getting there, okay? Maybe not as fast as I would like because time is, whew, time is uh, very thin around here, but I'm making it work, I'm making it work, okay? That's what's important. Also, 
if you wanted to switch it up and maybe do your two workouts and a yoga class the first week. And then the second week you wanted to do all yoga classes. That is up to you. This should be customizable for you. I am giving you the blueprint and you just need to fill it in. Okay. But I'm also giving you suggestions if you don't want to fill it in and you just want to step by step. So it could go either or, you know, it's up to you and what you like to do and how you like to stay moving and active. And you never know until you try. So it's all about trying and the effort, really. And so I am a month ahead of you guys. I'm doing it. So I'm starting this challenge in May and you guys are starting this challenge in June. So I'm a month ahead. That way I can give you guys an update and let you know how it's working for me and what what I like about it. So I know it can be a bit confusing, so I hope everything that I listed on the screen really helped you out and you can screenshot stuff. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know your progress and what you're worried about and what excites you the most. I feel like looking forward to stuff gives you faith and hope and gets you moving again. You know, when you get stuck, you get too anxious, you get in a small depressing bubble and you just can't find anything to spark that flame again. And I'm hoping that this does that for you. So please don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and grab somebody to do it with. It's always more exciting when you have somebody to update with. So I'm really, really excited. Oh. So yeah, I will insert my three week update next in the next clip and I will let you know what works out for me. Here, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my schedule and the workout that I had and how I broke that down. And let me just tell you this. This workout that I made up was a lot harder than I had anticipated. And yes, as you can see, I am using a weight, but that was just my preference. And here I'm just showing you that I did my first rep and I continue doing the other two. So again, I did three reps and my workout said to do 15 of each workout. But honestly, I couldn't do that and I had to do 10 to 12 and I'll just work my way up to 15. So day one, it was a struggle. I definitely didn't feel like doing it. And it was so hot in my house, I was sweating, sweating to death. And I'm not used to doing arm workouts, which is why I picked arm and upper body. But I felt great afterwards. And so now this is day two. And as you can see, yes, I am wearing my pajamas in all of these or like lounge clothes because I did not feel like changing. I was already dirty in them. So after I got my workout done, I went and showered and got nice clean clothes on and started my day. It felt amazing. And I wasn't used to that type of schedule because I've been doing the kids stuff first, like school time and getting them prepared for their day. So it was nice to kind of focus on me first. But workout day number two, it went a lot easier. I took my time and I wore my fuzzy socks. So that made me feel a little bit better. And on day two, I was able to focus more on my breathing. So I liked that. And this is day three. And day three... I went back to not wanting to do it again, but I was so tired before doing this workout. And after I did this workout, I felt a lot better. I am still loving the whole PJ thing. I don't have to get ready to do my workouts. I'm already ready. So that's my favorite part. And it was a little bit easier to do these workouts by the third day. And... I think that's when I started feeling a little bit more comfortable because again, I really don't work out my upper body or my arms. And so this took a little bit to get used to. And then here is just an overview of my schedule. 
And now on to day four. So day four, I am still doing the first workout, the arm and ab workout. And by this day, I was ready for it mentally and I was okay with doing it. It's not that I wanted to do it or didn't want to do it, but I was just ready to do it. And I definitely got a lot of sleep the night before this. So I also feel like that contributed so much because I hesitated less times in between each workout. And so that also, again, was easier for me to focus on my breath work. So I thought that was interesting, but out of all the days so far, this was my favorite one, and I think it was sleep. <laughs> and that was the end of my four workouts for the arms and abs, and this is the first workout within the second set of two-week marks that I recorded, and that was legs and glutes. And for this one, this workout takes a little bit longer, so I only filmed the first rep. And with this, I'm just showing you that I'm finishing all three reps within my second workout on my third week. And that's the workout that I came up with. And this one is a little bit longer because I have to do left and right leg. But all in all, I enjoyed this little program I came up with, and it actually held me accountable. I loved it. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you next week with another video. And... Don't forget to smile, stay happy, and be positive. Bye, guys. Besides for the first half, and I will, besides for, what did I just say? Free for there. Free for there. And I roll, also, what is happening today? I just sound like a bubbly mess. <sighs> okay, what am, what am I saying? <sighs> oh, Lord. This has been a rough couple weeks. Okay, get it together, Holly. Whew. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Break. I hope this shirt, this shirt is like way too big, Penny. What is you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? Okay. You guys want to see? This is my schedule. Workout, 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 skating. And I keep workout, skating, workout, skating. I said that backwards. Workout, skating, workout, skating. That's funny. <laughs> Get it together, Holly. Don't mind my scribbles. Okay, this is this is a mess right now. That's all I got. I need a new planner. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys.